Hello, people. How are you doing today? My name is Makeda Valletta, also known as The Body Scientist. And um, I'm live on my IG page, waiting for people to come on. Um, in case you are unfamiliar with me, um, I have a background in exercise and sports science and nutrition science. And, um, sorry, I'm currently also um, a graduate student in medical cannabis science and therapeutics, okay? So I'm saying all that to say to sum up my background, I have a holistic approach to the body and the function of the body. I am also a doula, I'm a sacred sexual educator, I'm a dancer, so I do a bunch of things that have to do with the body performing at its highest level, okay? And so today I want to have a conversation about hormones, sex hormones in particular, um, testosterone mostly, okay? Um, I want to have a conversation about testosterone, um, its effects on men, its effects on women, and just, you know, being balanced out, you know, testosterone, okay? We're going to have a testosterone conversation. Um, some of you may be familiar with um, videos that I've done in the past or classes that I've taught in the past. I had a class for men called Kundalini Strength Training and a class for women called Central Strength Training, okay? And this course has many components to it. Um, one component is teaching men and women how to strength train correctly, okay? Because whether you're a man or a woman, it's important to strength train, especially as you age, to keep your lean body mass, okay? To keep your body together, functioning right. Then the second component was dances from the African diaspora, particularly in the Americas, that involved intense hip movements, okay? Um, we store a lot of trauma in our hips, especially women. Um, moving the hips helps to move that kundalini energy. Most of our blood supply runs through our hips. And for women who give birth, it's important to be able to connect to the hips for childbirth and stuff. Um, then the third component was exercises for the muscles that support our sexual organs. So those exercises are different for men than, as, uh, than they do for women. But in men or women, it's important to exercise your muscles, all your muscles, or they will atrophy. Like I wear glasses, right? There are ways to strengthen the muscles in the eyes so that you don't have to wear glasses anymore. I haven't embarked on that, but that is a thing. Because when you're wearing glasses, your eye, the muscles in your eyes don't have to work to focus anymore. And so it can make your eyesight progressively worse, right? Especially contacts as well. So any extra, any muscles in the body, if they're not exercised, they will, they will atrophy. If you don't use it, you will lose it, okay? So those are, you know, I had uh, versions, well, I teach, I haven't taught them in a while. I'm actually rebooting my Kundalini strength training class for men, um, but it's going to be an online class. Um, but there's also hormonal, you know, we have strength training effects on hormones, how we move our bodies, and what we do with our bodies affects our hormones. Hormonal balance is extremely important, right? Nutrition also affects our hormones. So I'm going to have a conversation about testosterone, okay? Um, because, first of all, you know, um, the more muscle a person has, the more testosterone their body produces, okay? This is one of the reasons why men tend to have higher testosterone than women. Also, men are men. This a male um, organism functions differently. But men usually as a general statement, do have a lot more muscle than women, right? But the more testosterone, whether you're male or female, the more muscle somebody has, the more testosterone their body produces, okay? When we engage in strength and power activities, it increases our testosterone. That's in men and women. Increases in testosterone, one of the things that it does is drives our sex drive. It desires our, um, not just our desire for sex, but it does, it, it, Increased testosterone drives our sex-seeking behaviors, okay? So a man or a woman with a boost of high testosterone is more likely to be seeking, actively seeking sex, okay? Testosterone um, can also, in men, um, and this could be the case in women too, but I definitely know in men, um, competition increases testosterone, okay? So a man who is actively competing, Okay, I don't know that, I'm not 100% sure that it has that effect on women, but it definitely has that effect on men, where increased testosterone increases your uh, desire to compete, okay? Or competition increases your testosterone, okay? So if you're engaging in competitive activities, 
it increases your testosterone, which is interesting too, because you know, I told you my degrees in sports science. And you look at like power athletes. Let's look at male power athletes. Let's look at football players, basketball players, and how one of my really good male friends, he always calls them cavemen. He always says they're cavemen because he says that because of the fact that you'll have like professional athletes who are um are testosterone okay. Testosterone pellets are good support. I don't know what that is. Um, but he's, he'll say that, like, you'll see, like, baseball, basketball players who, like, they all date the same chick or, like, one, one, it's like, you, you'll see one chick who's dated all these basketball players and it's not, people think, oh, the woman is trying to date these dudes. No, a lot of times these dudes coming out these women, it's like, it's like, my, my friend calls it caveman behavior where it's like, they, like, get turned on by going after their, their teammate's girl or some, or some chick that's been with other basketball or football players because I don't know if they have this conquer mentality. I don't know what it is. But it could be the fact that they're, they are not only participating in a high level of power sports, which is going to increase your testosterone, but then you're competing, that increases your testosterone, right? Um, so the thing is, is that according to you know certain studies, it has been shown that um, testosterone is not related to aggression in men, as was previously believed, like previously believed. It used to be... Uh, believed that you know high levels of testosterone makes men really aggressive and there have been many studies that have been done that have shown that not necessarily does it make men aggressive but high levels of testosterone does make a man more generous particularly in the presence of women right so it's it always very interesting to me how women affect men's behavior but a man with high testosterone in the presence of women that man is more likely to, to be more generous right um also um, let me see. Testosterone has been shown to reduce trust in competitive, in competition, which makes sense because again, testosterone makes you more competitive. So if you're competing, you're not going to trust the people that you're competing against or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because you're in straight competition mode, right? Um, also, um, testosterone has shown to boost uh, reciprocity, okay, as well. Um, testosterone is fat soluble, all right? So that means it can get into the cells because our cells, all of our cells have a lipid bilayer, which means there's a, a layer of fat that surrounds all of our cells. And in order to get into the cell, you know, it has to be fat soluble or it needs to bind to a receptor, a protein receptor, and go through this whole biochemical pathway to get in the cell. Testosterone is fat soluble, so it easily gets in, into the cell and evokes change, right? Testosterone is made from a cholesterol backbone. All of our sex hormones and all of our stress hormones are made from a cholesterol backbone, meaning it's made from cholesterol. Also meaning that if you don't consume enough cholesterol, you definitely can have low testosterone and other hormonal issues, okay? Um, you know, women have hormonal issues. All of our sex hormones and our stress hormones are made from cholesterol, all right? So cholesterol is really, really important for the production of our hormones. Vitamin D, vitamin D, which is also a hormone, technically. Vitamin D is not even a vitamin, okay? Vitamin stands for vital amine. It's not even, that's not even what it is chemically. It's actually a hormone. And vitamin D is also made from a cholesterol backbone. I have videos where I talk about vitamin D more in depth. I talk about how even if you're getting vitamin D from the sun, you need cholesterol in your blood. Cholesterol, vitamin D is absolutely made from cholesterol, right? So, um, so for men who are trying to keep their testosterone up, you need to be eating eggs and steak, okay, and raw dairy and stuff that's high in cholesterol. Which is also why you see that when a lot of men get put on cholesterol lowering medications, they end up having erection problems and libido issues because blocking cholesterol is going to block your body's ability to even make testosterone, okay? Um Testosterone is produced by the testes and sometimes the adrenals. Um, estrogen is produced by the ovaries. You can't hear me. Okay. Somebody else tell me if you can hear me. Because somebody just told me they can't hear me. And I don't want to keep talking if you guys can't hear me. So I'm going to wait. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I guess people can hear me because people are asking me questions. So please, somebody, just let me know if you can hear me. But a good source of cholesterol... Cholesterol, okay, thank you for letting me know. Um, thank you guys, thank you. 
cholesterol is only in animal foods, okay? There's no cholesterol in plant foods at all. So a good source of cholesterol, animal foods, okay? Seafood is extremely high in cholesterol, um, especially shellfish, um, you know, red meat, um, organ meats like liver, egg yolks, um, but eggs, particularly the egg yolks, raw dairy, you know, cheeses, milks, you know, all of that is high in cholesterol, okay? Butter, animal fats, all right? Um, so, um, let me see. Okay, testosterone and estradiol, which estradiol, estrogen is made from that. They both play a huge role in bone health, bone strength and bone health. Um, and during the first few weeks of pregnancy, testosterone causes the ring fingers, okay? The ring fingers on men to grow longer than the index finger. In women, it is mostly um, the other way around. Now, the thing that's interesting about that, okay, it says that in men during the first few weeks of pregnancy, testosterone causes the ring finger on men to grow longer than the index finger. Well, if you look at me, my ring finger is longer than my index finger, right? But the thing is, I have a twin brother, <laughs> okay? I, I was in a womb with a boy, okay? I'm all woman for sure, but I was in a womb with a boy. And so, and my, my I'm 5'8", my twin brother is 6'2", okay? Um, he's a lot bigger than me, so I was in the womb with him, and so that testosterone probably affected me, which is why my fingers might be like this, okay? Um, also, high visceral fat, high visceral fat can lead to insulin resistance, so a lot of fat, like in the stomach and... That can lead to insulin resistance and decreased testosterone. So for men, it's definitely, for so many reasons, not a good thing to be having a whole bunch of fat uh, around your stomach and just a whole padding of fat. We want to um, get the body fat at a healthy place. And if you don't understand about body fat percentage, definitely check out my YouTube videos about body fat percentage versus BMI. I am not talking about BMI. BMI is an inaccurate measurement completely. It means nothing. Do not pay attention to the BMI. It is your body fat percentage. And I have a video where I explain that, okay? I will, on, on my YouTube page, I'll post it below, okay? If you're on Instagram, you can, it's actually on my Instagram page, or you can go to my YouTube page, The Body Science is 81, and type in body fat versus BMI, you'll find the video, okay? So you wanna get your body fat percentage in a good place. Because having too much visceral fat will cause low testosterone, okay? Um, because again, what did I say? The more muscle you have, the more testosterone your body produces, okay? Now, cortisol blocks testosterone receptors, okay? Now, we know that we have an increase in cortisol when we're stressed. Like chronic stress, highly being highly stressed, it increases cortisol. Cortisol blocks the testosterone receptors. And research shows that when cortisol is high, testosterone does not equate to the, the dominant personality traits that are associated with testosterone. So, when a man has high... Uh, cortisol, even if his testosterone levels are high, he doesn't exhibit this dominance, you know, um, dominant competitive behavior that is usually seen in men with high testosterone. Now, let me say that even when a man has high testosterone, if his estrogen levels are too low, that also is not a good thing. The high testosterone does not have the same effect on the man in terms of, you know, sex seeking um, behaviors and that competitive behavior and that just male prowess behavior, if the man has no estrogen at all, then that's a dud, okay? Men and women both have estrogen and testosterone. It's just that men always have way more testosterone than estrogen. Women always have way more estrogen than testosterone. But still, where those levels are within a woman and within a man affects our behavior, our sexual, uh, you know, our sexual desires and function, all right? Um... When cortisol levels are low, testosterone has an effect on men that makes them exert dominance, okay? Um, so, and the thing is, is that like, let's say working out or lifting weights, it helps to reduce stress, right? So again, we think about, like I was talking about like these athletes, you have like football players, so all they do is train with rah, 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 like all this crazy, like super hyped up testosterone. Doing all that stuff is gonna make your sex drive go up, 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 okay? Um, depression, lack of energy, and low libido are linked to low testosterone. Testosterone um, is literally linked with dopamine. 